What's going on, guys? You got Kwasi here for Kwasi Media Network and Kwasi Animation Studio. Just want to show you something here. Um, a pal of mine was having an issue, and I just want to show you guys exactly how to do this. Now, don't overthink this process. Keep it simple. All right, so we have a model in here that is bigger than the character. It's not on the character, clearly. Okay. So what you want to do is get this on the character and even get it weight painted. Right. But we're doing this for, for a character that's not originally made in Blender. Even the clothes weren't made in Blender and everything's external. In this case, I am using a hum human generator character, but it doesn't make a difference. It's still the same technique. Now, this is not the same as just adding clothing to an, a human generator character like I have on one of the main videos on this channel. This is a, more about just being able to just know what to do in this circumstance when the clothing is bigger than the other. So one of the biggest things you want to know is, is for one, use your number pad. One, three, okay, seven, and then depending on where you are, you can hit nine because if I go hit one and I hit nine, it'll take it to the back, okay? Reason for this is so you're not just doing all of this. I want to see a very distinctive position, all right? Also want to be able to see my baseline. So if you look here, the, the origin point is here so the origin point is on the 3d cursor okay so that means i can hit scale and scale it and it's going to scale it like this in this case i'm not going to do that i'm just going to just bring it down so you could use your move gimbal or you hit gz as long as it's in a global position on the transform orientations you'll be okay okay so gz and i'll bring it down now i'm not going to completely do that now the next thing is is i want you to understand is that the scale is still good and the location is now off. So what you want to do is hit Control A, and we're going to go All Transforms. It's a reason for that because we're going to go into Sculpt Mode. Now you can come up here and go to Sculpt Mode, or you can hit uh, Control Tab and Two, and it'll take you into Sculpt Mode. What we want is the Elastic Deform, not the Grab. Okay, so we're going to hit Elastic Deform. We're going to go to X. Now, if you got something that's hard surface, you may want to break that down, that thing down into pieces. It's the same concept, but the reason why I'm saying it like this instead of showing you is I don't have any armor to show you, <laughs> okay? But you may want to break it down into pieces. Now, a, an example here is, is what we want to do is just get it on the model, right? It doesn't have to be perfect because we may be using mask to get that portion of the body, like, to mask it out, okay? All right. All right, not too bad. So it's pretty good. Now this is a pretty low poly model. So that's that's already on the character. Now this is the next step. So we're gonna go back to object mode. Okay, don't forget to save, even though I didn't save this. I'm gonna click the thing. Again, I'm gonna hit all transforms. I'll only do that just as a surety. Now it's on the model. Okay, as best as it's gonna be, all right? There's nothing else on this model, but this right now. But I'm showing you how to get this on here. Now, if you want this, because again, if I click the character and I start to move the character, the clothes don't move with him. What you want to do is you want to click the clothes and then click the rig. So we're going to shift click the rig. I'm going to hit control P. I'm going to do object keep transform. Okay. So now when I move the rig, it moves with the character. Now understand this piece of clothing is not in any way, fashion or form weight painted. So let me show you. It's not weight painted, okay? So if I go in here and I start clicking bones, which I can't because the bones aren't selected, right? So if we go in and select the bone, select the thing, and go back into pose mode, oh, my bad, I'm tripping. No, no, I was good, I was good. No, I was, I was right. All right, cool. All right, so, um, I think it's control, it should be all shift, I'm tripping. It's not letting me all shift, but anyway, so we ha we have, well, that's why, because we don't have any groups, okay? So, <laughs> see, there are no groups, none. So, yeah, all right. And so it just showed that one group, which was nothing. Okay, so how you want to do this is you want to actually click the clothing, click the character, and now what we're going to do is go Control-P, and we're going to go to Armature Deform with Automatic Weights. Now, me, on the other hand, if you have the add-on, don't worry about it if you don't have it okay because you don't have to have it i go to pro skin on auto rig pro and click bind okay it does a way better job than 
not all the time, but 99% of the time it does a better job than the default blender. And But that doesn't mean default blender does a bad job because a lot of times it does a good job. But we're gonna go down to automatic weights and then we'll just look at it and see what we get, okay? So now it has everything set. I'm gonna go up here because he has this hair on him. I'm gonna get rid of that real quick. All right, and then I'm gonna hit one and I'm gonna rotate. So you see that it's now paired to him, okay? All right, okay. Now, if we wanted to do a cloth sim, what I would do with that would just go, would just be to go in here, even though, like I said, this is a low poly mesh, and I would grab these, these vert, uh, vertices, and I would make a group for them. And then when I make that group, that group would be just collar, let's say a uh, collar pin. And then assign it, right? So if you go to cloth, click cloth, and I go to shape, I would just make that the pin group. So let's go pin and collar pin. And then I like to make the stiffness a little lighter, so I'll do like 0.3 and then go from there. So, and, and of course do my um, simulation. So if you do the simulation, it'll go through him because he has no collision. All right, so click him, just hit uh, collision. I tend to, for the inner, go 0 0.2 at the same level. And then the damp, I just go 0 0.003. That's me. And then just hit simulate and boom, there we go. Now it's simulating but you see the stiffness at the neck? That's because the clothing uh, doesn't have a smoothness on it. So what I would do is come in and go, yeah, and just give it a smooth smoothness and then simulate, which now is gonna take a little longer, but you see how it started to bunch up at the neck because of the stiffness so I'll come back down here. I'm going to change the stiffness again. Where is it? Oh, shape. I'm going to go 0.15. See what I get. Hmm. I think it might, that might be, well, cool one. It's a trip how much that's sticking. The shrink factor. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, I, I can do this much better, but right now I'm just trying to do this quickly. But nonetheless, there you go. So it's on the character. We don't have to deal with uh, trying to figure out how to rig it because it's set. Um, again, it can be done better, but this is just showing you how to get that done. So I hope to help somebody real quick. Um, hope they helped you out, bro, and nothing but love.